All right, we're here with Hoka, Hoka Trail. We're talking to Becca Bro, Senior Product Manager, about what's coming in 2024. Uh, this stuff looks exciting, so let's get into it. Yeah, we're really excited about everything we have coming out in 2024. So we have some fun new spice coming out in the spring, and then in the fall, we're gonna get a little bit more aggressive with things. Okay, I'm excited. And we got Taylor here, by the way, lead trail reviewer for Believe in the Run. Of course, I'm Robbie, no big deal. Um, but wait, let's get into it. Let's start with, uh, wh which one do you wanna start with? Let's go Speed Goat first. All right, yeah. Speed Goat. This, so this has been, when did the Speed Goat 5? It's been a while since it's, the 5 It's dropped. been a hot second, yeah. yeah. So for us, we really wanted to make sure we were given some freshness for the Speed Goat in 2024. Mm -hmm. This example here is actually the Speed Goat 6 Gore-Tex, which is gonna launch in the fall. I like that. But we do have a new version of the inline Speed Goat, which launches in July okay. of the 2024 as well. All and right. for us, we're so psyched about this for a couple different reasons. You know, people love the Speed Goat. We all love the Speed Goat. Everyone at Hoka who runs on trails uses a Speed Goat I at mean, some it's, point. I mean, it's a legendary shoe at this point. Absolutely. It's like in trail, there's certain standards that are met and Speed Goat seems yes. to be one of those. Yeah. Well, and so we're really excited that this is gonna be our latest Speed Goat to date with the Speed Goat 6. Ooh. All right. So top to bottom, we looked at an update to the midsole compound here for a little bit of extra resiliency, a little bit of weight reduction and then hopefully a longer uh, durability for okay. that underfoot feeling experience with the Speed Goat. Okay. Some adjustments to the lug pattern to give you just a little bit more bite, especially around the perimeter lug placement yeah, yeah, on the yeah. Speed Goat there. And then when we look at the upper, we've moved to this really amazing lightweight textile. It's gonna have great breathability, um, but be super light with just some select internal reinforcement for just the right amount of lockdown on the chest. Okay, cool. Yeah. So then, I mean, that was the one thing that it got knocked for on the Speed Goat 5 yeah. was the upper. Yep. Um, I mean, this feels Matrix-like. Yeah, but textile, not, but but not quite, this, yeah. 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 Will it be in the Speed Goat, the original Speed Goat 6? The non-Gore-Tex version? Correct. Right. Yeah, so that Speed Goat 6 inline is also going to have that really nice lightweight Matrix-ish textile. Cool. It's going to give us that breathability, that strength with that little bit of internal reinforcement. And what's the price point on this? So Speedcoat's going to hold price at 155 okay. for the inline version and 160 for the Gore-Tex version. Okay, nice. Oh, only five bucks more for the waterproof ability. All right. 170. Or 170. 170. I was like, I was yeah. like, that seems okay. <laughs> even so, that's the price. Mean, I got you. Yeah. Um, yeah. Still. All right. Let's move on. What do we got next? Okay. So next, I want to shift gears um, to probably the spiciest shoe we have yeah. in the lineup for All right, the year. Yeah. With the Tecton X3. Um, I mean, this is wild looking. Oh man, it's it's such a great shoe. I was very lucky to run in a prototype of this um, yeah. at MCC at UTMB this year. While we had Jim Walmsley run in an even different, mm -hmm. more different, more advanced prototype. Uh, so that shoe that Jim wore. I think he did well at that race, right? I think he did okay, oh, yeah. right? Okay. He yeah. did okay, yeah. <laughs> Um, awesome part about this shoe here is we took learnings from that shoe that Jim wore to win UTMB this year, and we're able to pack all of those updates and upgrades into the Tecton X3. So people who love the Tecton X2, you'll notice a couple big different things here. We actually went to a SCF Piba top and bottom layer. Okay. Here. Yeah. 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 Okay. Big change. That's, we added. Yeah. Which before it was more like an EVA based and a. Uh, yes. Uh, Super critical. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Okay. So this was a combo that Jim really preferred. And so we're honoring that. And honestly, the thing feels amazing on trails, especially when you have those sections you can really start to rip. Yep. So feel good about that top to bottom Piba setup. Uh huh. And then looking at a little bit more protection underfoot from an outsole perspective. Yeah. So just a little bit more rubber coverage. So you're not going to get any DLAM, any issues with like I mean, having I, the Piva be put at rest. I think we love, I mean, we pretty much gave it one of our, well, it's probably yeah, one of the best trail shoes of this year, the yeah. Tectonics yeah. 2. But there, I say there was one issue was maybe that there wasn't a, a ton of grip or outsole yeah. Uh, yeah. on the on not the tecton. Yeah, not yes. a bite yeah. for more technical stuff. This seems to more than make up for that. Yeah. In those so, micro, yeah. Yeah, the traction lug traction, from Vibram is yeah. fantastic there for that little extra bit. Now, what's the carbon plate situation? Is it still two parallel yes. plates or yeah. like? Okay, okay. So some really fun learnings on this one. We still have the parallel carbon fiber plate set up here. So you have a separate medial and a separate lateral plate. Okay. But what we've done is actually extend the wrap of the plate up the sidewall in these yeah, strategic zones. Right so similar to something like a Mach X2, with the carbon fiber in this case, um, we found that where you add that wrap in the plate, you can enhance the stiffness and the torsional control in those zones. So imagine okay. in a trail environment, you know, if you're cutting a certain way, you gotta stay on top of the platform and that wrap of the plate just helps keep your foot really nice and nested. 
Okay. Now, I mean, this is a pretty big overhaul from the Tecton. Yeah. So, like, <laughs> is I can already tell it's heavy. It's a heavier shoe. Is that? What's the weight? Do you know what the weight yeah, on it? Yeah, slightly heavier than the Tecton X2. Yeah. The couple things that we built in here, though, that um, we're really excited about, to, I think, to counter that, this new upper is going to still leverage um, a great matrix material, so amazing strength, weight, breathability. But then we've built in this integrated knit gaiter. Mm -hmm. And so for us, for someone who's running on some technical terrain, instead of having to add a gaiter, which yeah. add weight, adds yeah, yeah. weight, we built it into the shoe. Um, yeah. This was a big ask from Jim and some of our trail athletes to have that knit collar that's not gonna stretch out over time, gonna be nice and secure, gonna keep any debris from getting into the shoe, keep you really nice and locked in. Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, do you know the Do you know the weight on this off the top of your head? Yeah, we're gonna double check that. We just got our final samples uh, right, in yesterday. Fine. What's the price point and release date? So we're gonna be at 275 okay. for the Tecton okay. X3, and then we're gonna launch this bad boy around UTMB in August. Okay, that's a yeah, that's a step up from the last. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it is a step up. Damn. So this is like we're talking. This is it. Like super primo. So we're looking yeah. like race for real, race day shoe for the trail. For real. For okay. Real. All right. Yeah. Well, I'm excited for this. Is this looks awesome? It's gonna be cool. I know this will be a question. Will there be a gatorless option? We're not Eventually. doing a gatorless okay. option, but I'd say keep your eyes open for a future trail lineup. You're gonna see some additional spice thrown in the mix there. All right. Cool. Yeah. All right, let's move on to this one, which just Torrent. looks awesome. Yeah. I think the Torrent 3 was one of those, it's kind of like flies under the radar. It was such a good shoe. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, let's talk about this a little bit. Yeah, so Torrent for us really represents our first access point to trail running for Hoka. Um, I think in the past, the Torrent's maybe gotten a little lost in our lineup. So for this execution here, our amazing designer, uh, Sean, just knocked this one out of the park. By just giving it a little bit more of that Hoka attitude, yeah. we went on this one to, again, a very similar compound to the foam that we use in something like the Clifton. It's gonna have great resiliency, great weight, great cushioning, great lifespan. But then looking at that strategic rubber wrap, a little bit more bite and toothiness for traction, um, a little bit of enhanced stack height here as well for that little bit of extra cushioning. Mm -hmm. And then an upper that, you know, super intuitive for trail. We're using some rip stopping materials, some closed meshes, and then building in this little bit of a midfoot cage for the extra lockdown. And then this is, but it's not B Rome, is this just a. Correct. Okay, okay, yeah. gotcha. Yep. Um, so, and then what's the price point on this? 130, so a great entry okay, point yeah, that's for good. trail. And release date? Uh, the Torrent is going to be launching in August, okay, August 15th. Cool. Nice. I mean, it's a great looking shoe. Yeah. I mean, yeah. if nothing else, Very I excited love it. About so, that one. Cool. All right. Well, that's the three bangers coming out 2024 is that cool to say anymore i don't know but <laughs> we're saying it so 2024 is in the future who knows might come back around um yeah i'm excited i think this looks pretty awesome what do you I, think i think it's a great lineup especially looking at all around some of the favorites and some really exciting updates with yeah. the race day cool so, yeah awesome. excellent stuff so we're looking forward to that and uh if you haven't check out the road preview that we posted as well and more stuff to come from the running event Awesome, thanks so much. Yeah.